Guys, I am begging you, please, please never take on money when you're trying to start a damn business. So guys, if you are new to this channel, my name is Iman Gadji. I'm an 18 year old entrepreneur. I've done some pretty crazy stuff. Dropped out of high school when I was 17 years old. Went on to build three businesses that have done roughly around $70,000 profit this month um, and yeah pretty much just like a professional lifestyle designer uh, and just try to show people that really you can do whatever the fuck you want in this life so let's get on to the topic of this video which is in my opinion I genuinely and I will hold this belief I uh, think that you should never take all money when you're first starting a business and here is why first of all if you are first starting off a business it, you know it's, it's your first go at this there is an immense amount of stress that comes with building a business, whether that be an online business, a B2B business, a B2C business, a tertiary industry, whatever industry or business you're trying to build, there's an immense amount of pressure that comes with that. Okay. And that pressure is amplified tenfold when you've taken on money, either from the bank or from an investor or from your mom, whatever it may be. It is no longer like, here's the thing. Pressure is good. Pressure is good. Hardship is good. But when you have too much of it, you break, especially if it's your first time around. Now to give you guys a bit of a backstory, people always ask me, you know, how much money did you have to start my first business, which was my marketing agency uh, or any of the other stuff that I built? Uh, you know, did you take on money? How much money did you take on? Um, and I was telling them like zero. I started with what I had. You know, I didn't have much, but I made it work, right? And then I scaled from there and then I took on more business expenses from there. And, you know, I'm so glad I did because, uh, look, as I said, you know, people say burn, the, or, you know, burn the bridges or, you know, burn the boats, like, you know, throw yourself entirely. If you have, if you're accountable and you have someone there, um, hey, look, that's a fair point. You know, if you've taken on money and you have someone there and you're accountable to that money, I can completely understand the angle that you know, you're going to do better. But that said, in my opinion, if it's your first time around, you're already in under enough uh, pressure and as is, you don't need to add, you know, uh, fuel to the fire. Also, here's the thing. In my opinion, if you're just starting your first business, it should be something with a st uh, with zero, almost zero to little startup costs. Because you know, that that's your that's your test. That's your experience. Look, I, you know, I say in relationships, like if you don't love yourself, how are you meant to love someone else? If you can't, you know, in business, if you can't manage yourself, how are you manage, meant to manage other people? The only real instance I can think of to bring on money, right? Or to have some sort of investment to start is because you need employees, you need infrastructure, you need office, you need, you know, you, you, you might even need some freelancers, but on a, you know, on a, you know, in, in a bigger role within your, within your business, whatever it may be, how are you meant to manage them? If you haven't learned how to manage yourself, leadership is, you know, making, you know, making sure that your well is full, making sure that you as a human, you've gotten your shit together. And then now you can lead others in the same way that you kind of tamed yourself. So really for me, and I know a lot of you guys, you know, here you're, you're thinking shit. If I just had ten thousand dollars, if I had thirty thousand, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars, what could I do with my business? And I understand that, but we live in such a cool world with, between online marketing, between you know the, the opportunities within sales, all the sales technology. Look, you can you can pick up the phone today and make four thousand dollars over the phone, literally. Just fi just find something to sell and then just sell that thing. And in my opinion, it's much better if you can self fund your own project, say, you know, say you need a hundred thousand dollars to get something off, off the ground and running, find something else, get into sales, get into online marketing, you know, build a marketing agency, start a personal brand, get into affiliate marketing, whatever the, whatever the hell you want to do, right? Self fund yourself because first of all, you know what that money is worth. You know, one of the issues with, and look, this isn't everyone, but one of the issues with wealthy kids and I've, I've been around a lot in my time, is the fact that they just don't understand what money is worth. 
right? They, they don't understand what, what, what work has actually gone in to create that money. So in the same way, if you don't have any money and you're bringing on someone else's money, you don't understand what that investor or you know your, your uncle or the bank has fucking gone through to actually accrue that 100K investment, that 50K investment, that 100, 100K investment. So I think it's a much better place or you're, you know, you're coming from a much better place if you can actually go ahead, build that sort of uh, foundation and you can actually accru you know, accrue that money yourself, you know, because you actually understand what that's worth and you don't take that shit for granted, okay? Uh, so between the pressure, between the fact that, you know, in order to manage other people and in order to build a company, which is the only reason I can see why at the beginning you need to take on an investment, you know, for those two reasons, I really, really wouldn't recommend, um, you know, taking on money when you first begin. Seriously, and you know, a lot of people, as I said, ask me, did you take on money? And you know, what was your process at the beginning? My process at the beginning was, you know, I bought a course and then I made some money and then I spent all that, you know, I reinvested all that money into second course and then I reinvested into a third and a fourth and then I reinvested into a coach and then I reinvested into a seminar and then, you know, at some point I'm like, look, I'm getting in a good place, cash flow is coming in and uh, now I'm just gonna go buy myself something nice because I deserve it. And then more money came in and then I bought more equipment from my marketing agency, um, more coaching, more mentoring. Um, and then, you know, things got better and I brought on freelancers and outsourcers and then things got better and I just scaled at a slower rate, but at least I understood how to scale because once again, I, I said this before, if someone gives me the million dollar a month blueprint, which people have, like people have shown me, I don't know what to do with it, right? You could be put in a McLaren P1 right now. You don't know what to do with it because you've never driven a, you've never driven a Porsche. So how could you go from a, a whatever the fuck you're driving now? And this might not be, you know, someone watching this might actually have a Bugatti. I don't know. Uh, but how the hell are you meant to go from a, a Toyota to a McLaren P1 and understand that difference, right? You have to go through the process. And I see a lot of people, they try to, you know, springboard to the other side before actually going through the process. How the hell are you meant to lift 200, uh, you know, do a 500 pound deadlift if you don't even know how to do, you know, you, you don't even know how to do, uh, you know, rows with proper form or, 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 you know, a lap pull down with proper form. So guys go through the process. And I think it's such a cool thing to be able to say, look, I own hundred percent of my company. I don't have any loans. I don't have any debts. I don't have any of that shit. Right. And you know, it, it makes you sleep pretty easy. And you know, if it was 30 years ago, I wouldn't be giving the same advice, but we live in such a cool world. And if you're passionate about something, if you want to become a designer, if you want to become a, if you want to become a designer, if you want to start a clothing line, if you want to jet ski for a living, cool, you can do that, do that. But just find something on the side to fund it. If you want to, for example, with me, my, you know, my, my long, long term dream and goal is to create an academy for entrepreneurs, but I'm not talking about like, you know, like some mastermind group. I'm talking about like a legitimate, like school, like an edu like you leave the school with zero formal education and they have to sign a waiver that they understand that. Um, you leave it with zero education, except for the fact that everyone there is, you know, the teachers are millionaires, are the best and the best of the uh, best of the best in the world. Um, you know, so that, you know, that, that dream and that vision of mine is gonna cost me maybe like 50 to hundred million. I would much rather start building right now and start putting money aside and start building an empire to fund a grand vision, right? But that's a 50, hundred million dollar vision. Your vision might just be like, shit, I just need to save up like 50 K so that for a year I can just go jet ski, or I just need a 5 K a month passive business, or I just need two marketing agency clients or three marketing agency clients so that, you know, I spend maybe 20 hours a month, maybe like five hours a week on, uh, on, you know, my marketing agency clients. And then the rest of the time I'm off jet skiing. So guys, we live in a really, really cool world. I, I want you to remember that. And uh, for all, as I said, for all of you guys who are looking to uh, take on money, I would highly, highly recommend you don't go that route. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, love you guys as always. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video.